so yes, this is our overdue fi February favorites and Cheska and I are back in filming together so you'll see her in a while. But first I'll just give you guys a quick run through of my hair. This um, eyebrow powder from Daiso and I know it's super duper dirty so I got the new one that I bought. I just want to show you how much I love this. It, I've heat fed on it and it's so messy and it's so dirty. Yes, I know it's just it's just like that. Yeah, but I just love this eyebrow powder. I use this every single day when I yeah when I go out the house and I just use to fill in my brows. And it's so cheap, it's so affordable, it's so easily accessible. So I think everybody should give this a try, especially those people who like uh, to use powder when filling in their eyebrows because yeah, it looks more nice. Second favorite is this. NYX Luxurious Black Label Lipstick and I got in I got it in the shade of Dusty Rose I have a review on this particular product in our blog which will just link it down below because you know I have more in the study study of this thing there yeah I just really really like this I'll just give you a quick swatch yeah, and this is how it looks like. Yeah, I just feel that this is very natural. You guys know that I love my Revlon just with a kissable balm stain in honey, which I use every single day in school. But uh, recently, uh, I came across with this one when I'm cleaning my makeup, my makeup vanity case. Yeah, so I just thought that why not use this? It looks pretty similar, but it is more opaque and it, it has a very fruity scent. I actually use this in school, I don't know, I think two times, yeah, and nobody really noticed that I have lipstick on, it just, it just looks so favorite, um, I have been loving my nudes, pink nudes, warm nudes, beige nudes, uh, quite recently, so this is in my favorite for this month, this is the L'Oreal Hip, which is the high intensity pigment, I'm not sure if this is a liquid lipstick or it's a gloss that's just so pigmented, but yeah, I got it in the shade Oh, sorry, that's, that's our phone. Yeah, so I'll just give you a quick swatch as well. This is a liquid lipstick that's uber, uber, uber painted. Yeah, you can see it right there. It looks pretty scary in the tube and the swatch, but when you actually put it on your lips, it looks very natural except the, the shine. Yeah, but it looks really, really good, especially if you just Want to even out your skin. It's not streaky and it's not sticky at all. That's why I read is this very yeah, it, it's just in this tube, but it's actually the Lanco Matte Miracle Foundation and I have it in the shade 03. I I've, I've used this quite a number of times this month. Yeah, I only just got the sample size, I'm not gonna show you because it looks really messy, but yeah, I just love this because as you guys know that I have oily skin and it's so irritating, it's so hot here in Singapore at the moment. So there's a lot of oils going on, you know, all over my face. But I really like this because it keeps my face matte even with just tiny bit of um, uh, product on. I feel that I don't have to pack it on my face just to give it that nice matte finish. So. I really really like this, but to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna re repurchase. I, I didn't even purchase it in the first place. I don't think that I'm gonna purchase the whole bottle of it because it's just so expensive. Fifth favorite is this Body Shop um, Honey Mania Exfoliant Cream. Yes, okay. It's 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 gone. It's it's finished. There's nothing in here. I actually just use this to put stuff inside. Oh, and it still smells the same. It smells like honey, of course, yeah. So, at first, I must admit that I don't really like this because I'm used to scrubs that really exfoliates your skin and really just, you can feel that it remo it, it, it's removing your dead skin, so something like that. I'm, I'm more used to scrubs that are coarse, yeah, something like that. But this one is more, um, Creamy, more creamy. It's creamier, and it, the, the beads or whatever the exfoliants are just very fine. So at first I didn't really like it. I feel that it's a waste of money for me because 
the purpose of me getting body scrub is to exfoliate my skin. But I actually found a good purpose of using this thing is when I'm traveling. So I actually bought it in another um, small, smaller travel size um, container where I can use it as a soap and a scrub since it's very mild. So I use it favorite. Uh, I actually didn't bring it right now. But um, I'll just ask Jessica to insert a big, okay, I don't know when, right now, right now, yeah. So the, my last favorite is the Veet, um Hair Removal Cream Shaver whatsoever. I think I've mentioned it in one of my old videos or my, I don't know, but I've, I've mentioned it there that I've already shaved my legs. Oh my gosh. Yes, I actually, I don't know. I, I'm the person who's like so against shaving my hair, my first. But I just feel that it's going overboard. It's going crazy. It's going... I don't know, it's like... It's it's so ugly to look at. So I just, you know, just one day I just asked my sister just buy me some box of feet and I'm just gonna shave it off. And yeah, I really really like the results. I actually used it three times this month. So it's pretty good and so far. It's very easy, it's very convenient. It didn't hurt me, that's the first thing. I hate shaving because of the blades and all those. And that's it for my favorites and I hope you guys will check out Cheska's favorite in a while and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hi guys, Cheska here. So welcome to my February favorite. So first up, let's have this one. It's actually a stain antic. I'm really a fan of stain lip stain or blush stain so I actually got this as a present and yeah it's in shade of homecoming queen okay so unlike my other uh, lip stain or blush stain this is orange in color it's really orange but when you try to swatch it it's not really that obvious I'm actually using it right now it just gives you the uh, orange tone but I think it blends well with my skin because I have a, a bit like a fair skin tone so it's really a good thing. I usually use this almost every day in school and especially now it's summer so having like a tone shake is really a good thing and it's in trend so yeah I think it's a good thing to have this. I don't think it's that expensive also. You can buy it from Sasa. It's from The Balm. It's the brand so it carries it. I think they have other colors like they have red and pink. I don't know the shade name, but yeah. But for something different, I think having this, even though it's orange in color, is really a good thing. I thought I wouldn't really like it, but I really love it. I have this. It's a NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil. I think the good thing about this is that it's nude in color. If I swatch it, it's just this. I'm not really a fan of nude color, as, but Monica is a fan of nude color, but but sometimes I prefer it, like especially when I go to school, and I wouldn't want to be like a crowd shocker with my lips, so I don't think it's appropriate. So yeah, I just use this at one of the one of the days. And the best thing about this is that it's a pencil. So it's easier for you to put it and to avoid all those smudging. And it's very light in color. So yeah, and it's also creamy in texture and it's a bit moisturizing, so for a person who always have chopped lips, this is a good buy. So yeah, it's in shade of 7 to 1 Soft Pusha. So I think Sasa, uh, Sasa, I don't know whether they have it, but Sephora, they have it. I got it for my third favorite. It's similar to what I had last month. It's a nail patch. I know I promised you guys I'm going to make a tutorial how to do this, so maybe I'll do it eventually because I'm gonna use this for something that another video so yeah I'm so excited for you guys to know all about that and the difference is that this is in chrome so more of metallic I'm kind of experimenting which will last longer is it the ones I tried last month which is more on plastic finish or this more metallic aluminum finish so I'll be you guys more about it but Nevertheless, they're both sold in the same price, so I got it from Skate. They always have this bazaar. I have a perfume. 
It's from Viva La Juicy Lip Floor. I really, 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 really love this perfume. I've been eyeing this, looking at this, smelling this for the past two or three years. I know it's crazy, but I mean, I like perfumes, but I love them more when people give it to me. You know how expensive perfumes are. So yeah, finally I got one for my birthday. And I think I'm gonna make a review about this pretty soon. So I'm just gonna link it down or just just keep you guys posted about it. And the thing I like about this is that it has the fruity, floral, sweet smell. And the packaging is really good. I think above all those perfumes, right, I think this is quite practical to buy because it's in, I don't know, I think it's 150ml so usually the price with this price, usually you can only get about 75 mils or 100 mils so this is 150, 50 mils more so it's pretty good and the packaging looks so my favorite. I'm gonna show you at the same time. It's actually a nail polish. I got two. It's from the Couture de Mini Runway Mini. Actually, OPI, they've been saying that OPI is a really good nail polish. I've yet to try because first, I find it ridiculously expensive because one bottle is $20 and it's just one color. I mean, do you expect me to have the same color for the rest of the year? <laughs> so freaking expensive. So when I got to see this at Scape as well, I think we, my friend and I bought this together. So we kind of split the thing. It's, I think, $18. And it has four different shades. The ones that I have is a definite mouse have. And the other one is magazine copper mouse. So they're actually the whole series is actually reddish, pinkish. The difference between the two is that this is about pinkish and it's a bit like simple pinkish. I used to paint my toenail with this special when I went to the beach. It's really good. Like the sun, all the things. So and the red one is very classy, has glitters, it's so classy. And I think now I know why OPI is really expensive because the pigmentation is really there and it fast really and it dries pretty fast. And apart from that, it's really cute. Not all their packagings are this cute because they usually have the big ones, but I mean come on, it's so small and it's so freaking cute. Don't you feel like just painting your Barbie dolls with these things? So anyways, yeah, that's really a plus thing. So they actually have different series like the James Bond girls and all those things. So I think, yeah, it's a good thing to buy OPI, but as much as possible, I advise you girls to look for the cheapest OPI in town because it's not really worth it to buy something that expensive that you're not going to use at all. For my February favorite, I hope you guys like it. And if you guys have any comments, suggestions, and everything else, just comment down below or you can do a video response or you can even link your own videos of your own favorite. We would love to really see those favorites and to get insights from different brands or whatever. Just whatever. Okay, that's all and bye!